Morning world, GP Trevia. Uh, welcome back to part three of building the Mac R Series 685ST. Finally got that right. That took about five goes, believe me. Oh dear, I tell you what, uh, these AMT models certainly test you. So, haven't really got much further. Um, not sure if I showed you the cab built yesterday. That's done, firewall in, bit of paint work, cabs. The, um, the bucket is ready to go into the cab. That's ready to go. Uh, not much has changed uh, on uh, the actual truck itself. I think that's pretty much as what I showed you yesterday. That hasn't changed much. Uh, set to work on um, the bonnet and decals and stuff. So I've got a lot of the decals on. Uh, some of them have been a little bit damaged along the way, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I've got, um, uh, got my radiator grill in, indicator lights on, got my little little Mackie on the uh, bonnet there and uh, what I said and and some of the decals um, I don't think I got the decals quite in the right position uh, AMT instructions don't tell you where to put anything um, also the little lenses either side there little reflector lenses uh, indicators like I said uh, some of the decals through handling and so forth are starting to get a little bit damaged now but that's okay I mean it's a truck they get driven around, they get wear and tear. So, and also I've got the uh, bonnet hinges on, ready to be mounted on the truck, but I'm not putting it on the, on the main part of the truck yet until I've got uh, things like exhaust systems and that, that on the, the bonnet wire should be the very last thing to go on. Ah, uh, fuck, sorry. AMT, oh my God. Um, the, I've been working on the mirrors all night. Oh, we have some exhaust parts to go on. Uh, some more exhaust parts to go on. I'm using um, my special tweezers to hold that together. They need to be repainted. Uh, some more exhaust parts to go on. They were held together with uh, closed pegs overnight just to make sure the thing was good. Oh my God, these mirrors, I tell you. I've, uh, I've done quite a few truck models, but the mirrors are an absolute nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to, still don't know how I'm going to finish them. So. I glued these on last night, just these little bits here. Um, I've glued them on unpainted. I've started to paint these bits, so I glued them on, painted them. It took me over half an hour to get that one little arm on and in position, like it was a nightmare, so I've got to paint that up. So they're all fairly solid, but uh, I've still got to somehow uh, mount this part of the mirror in and that's got to go into there. I've got to mount that part on and then put the main mirror part on. Uh, having, having such a trouble to get that together, I decided to do it this way. I joined those two arms together last night and they've been sitting all night, so that's actually rock solid. Uh, I had to glue that last night and just walk away and leave it. Um, I couldn't do anything else with it. I actually put those on last night, That is that those those bits, that I put that bit on late last night and that bit there, went to touch it with paint and they just fell off. Bloody hell. Uh, the other thing I'm quite amazed at is um, I got my little doggies on the door. I can't believe it, but I did. I got my little Mackie dogs on the door. I actually dropped them a couple of times and had to use me uh, handheld magnifying glass to go and find them. They are so tiny, I still can't believe I managed to uh, get them on. So. Oh, shit. All right, so where I'm at today is hopefully uh, finish. Getting the mirrors glued on and painted. That is a huge deal, getting that done. Then it's a matter of uh, decals. There are the decals uh, I want to put around the cab. That one should have gone on the roof of the truck, I believe, before I put the... Uh, uh, clearance lights on too late now the clearance lights are up there that's not going to go anywhere i don't think no there's no way that goes up there now um just looking at that no now i'm not popping all the clearance clear there i'm not popping all the clearance lights off just to put a decal on there not doing it so anyway um the, the plan is today like i said and and that's just going to take a while too so for me to glue I'm going to have to glue that on. I'm going to have to wait two or three hours before I can even touch that to put the next part of that together to put the mirrors on. And that's what's really holding me up at the moment, getting the mirrors on. Once I've got the mirrors on, 
I can actually uh, install exhaust pipes, I can install the cab, because um, everything else everything else now just pretty much, I've got one part that bolts to the truck with, of the exhaust pipe, the rest of it actually, I need the cab to install it. Uh, and I've also, then I've got the uh, front bumper to put on and some number plates and that sort of pretty much uh, wraps it up and then get the bonnet on. So at this stage, I've got to get the mirrors glued into position, like tiny little bit of work, like, you know, it's going to take me half an hour to do that work. Then I've just got to walk away for the next two, three hours and not touch it. Literally, as I literally not touch it until those um, mirrors frames are glued solid in position. And then I can put the last bit of the mirror together. But oh my God, um, out of all the truck mirrors I've ever built, these are probably some of the worst. They're so flimsy, um, so delicate. I'm using these tweezers. I'm using these tweezers just to try and get it together. And then, um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to getting the decal on the cab and uh, just finishing the whole model off. So anyway, Worlds. Anyway, well, so that's where we're at the moment. Um, I'm almost at the end of this model. Right out, well, so that's where we're at at the moment. Um, bloody AMT, uh, they're a nightmare. And I've got an AM, another AMT model there, the Kenworth, and I guess I'm going to go through the same nightmare of not fully understanding the instructions and uh, putting things in the wrong spot and then have to pull them apart and glue them back on in other, other places. So, uh, right out, well, so I'll get back to you hopefully. Uh, where we're pretty much at the completion of this model, which should be sometime late this afternoon. It won't be any time soon. Like I said, I've got to wait for those mirror. I've got to put the mirror brackets on, all the mountings for the mirror bracket. Then I've just got to walk away and leave for at least a good couple of hours, come back, do the next bit, same thing, then walk away for another couple of hours and then finally get my decals on there. So, right out, Worlds, I'll uh, get back to you a bit later uh, when we're on the final run and hopefully I'll have this model uh, all together and finished sometime towards the end of today. Okay, later, bye. Right now, well, well, it's uh, very late in the afternoon and um, I've pretty much finally got this, uh, the truck done. I finally pretty much have got my Mac built. But uh, there are a couple of things I'm very, uh, fr uh, very frustrated about. Firstly, um, I managed to uh, break the rear mud guards off or uh, mud flaps off and I haven't been able to glue them on successfully. So unfortunately, they're not gonna make it back onto the model. And secondly, what I'm really peeved about, I've gone and lost the, uh, somewhere between here and the shed and painting the uh, exhaust stack last night. Just got to straighten that up. I've actually, I've, uh, I've lost the exhaust stack that's supposed to be going here. Now, there is a replacement muffler for it here somewhere. Which, so there is a replacement muffler I can put on, which basically, basically, it just goes under the truck like so. Um, but I don't want to use that. I, uh, I want my exhaust stack. I don't know where the hell that bloody thing went. Last I remember, last I remember is bringing that in last night after hitting with some chrome paint. paint can't speak. Last I remember is bringing it in last night with some chrome paint and uh, sitting it down here on the desk. And uh, I thought I saw it here today and in amongst all the mess that the desk usually is, uh, finally getting it down to last bits and pieces. And... Uh, went to look for that part on the assembly and it was bloody well gone um and i'm really peeved off um no i wasn't drinking last night i've been sober nearly the whole of this month actually um don't know where it's gone i've swept the bus four times now i've lift, lifted all the cushions and the covers on all my chairs can't find it there anywhere i've pulled all the speakers apart like gone in the back of the speakers gone all around the outside of the bus i've combed all the lawn I brought that in last night, that exhaust stack, and I just don't know where it's gone. So uh, uh, that's uh, very, very disappointing to finish off a model uh, with parts missing. Uh, also, um, the mirrors. Oh, my God. These mirrors were an absolute nightmare to build. It took me literally two days of dabs of glue and lots of waiting before I could actually assemble and then paint these mirrors. They were absolutely long. I can't believe I got the uh, twin CB antennas up on top. They went on pretty good. Uh, because the back window was a bit smudgy, I've actually put a curtain in. So uh, that's in from the front. So I decided to cover the back window with a bit of a hippie curtain. So uh, look, overall, um, I think it's not too bad. Um, everything lined up fairly, fairly good. The bonnet doesn't really tilt forward because uh, it touches there on the front um, bumper bar. Um, so it doesn't, the bonnet doesn't really tilt forward, but I don't really go around lifting, opening and closing my bonnets that much anyway. 
but overall it uh, didn't turn out too bad. Excuse me. Of course, my colours, you know, with the orange everywhere, there probably should have been some chrome parts that were orange and probably some orange parts that should have been chrome. But overall, um, this was a, what, four to five day build to uh, get this done. Oh, actually, I've just noticed here. Me, um, I've just, just noticed here that's a little bit sideways. I'm still waiting for a bit of the glue to cure on a couple of spots here, so to get that right. So this was a three, three, three or four day build, I think it was, by the time I had to, I had to wait a lot, glue a lot of parts on, wait a lot, glue some more paint, parts on, hand painted absolutely everything. I don't think the bonnet will tilt forward. Oh, there it goes. It does actually, look at that. The bonnet tilts forward. Oh, there we go, look at that. So there, there's a inside shot of the motor. Let's do that again. I, so you've got a pretty good inside shot of the motor, a lot of detail there, a lot of painting there, a lot of hand painting. So overall, look for an AMP, AMT model. Oh shit, that's me bumper bar coming off. I've got to careful, have a grab this still. The glue's still a bit wet and a few things. For, as far as an AMT model and the destructions being, as far as an AMT model and the destructions being exactly what they are, total destructions, um, and me having to pull parts off and put them back on because I glued them in the wrong spot upside down and the complete wrong way around and on the wrong side a couple of things um, There we go a little bit of an overview there. I Think the uh, I think it turned out pretty bloody good. I actually even like uh, the the seating um, detail that I did on the seats in there and so forth as far as the cab uh, detail came up so so I'm still going to hunt. I'm going to be looking for that exhaust stack until I find it, or it, um, I don't know. Um, I won't give up on that. It, it came into here last night. I don't know where the fucking hell it went. It's somewhere in this bus. It has to be, um, unless I swept it out the door, because I constantly sweep my floors to uh, get bits and pieces out, and if I constantly drop pieces on the floor, I sweep the floor to find them again. So wherever that uh, exhaust stack is it's somewhere between here and the shed i went all through the shed looked everywhere in the shed where i did my painting and everything just can't find the goddamn thing um which is really disappointing uh i can put this exhaust on underneath the truck but i'm not going to do that just yet uh i'll leave it um, and hopefully maybe i can actually uh, i can actually that exhaust stack will actually show up i've gone through my whole box of bits i've gone through all my paint containers i just don't understand where that um where that stack went so but anyway um and of course uh the mat flubs that broke off i should have put these on these should have been the very very last thing i put on the truck put them on way too early and of course they uh they didn't just sort of fall off they actually snapped off so the only way to even glue them back on is drill some more holes or just leave them off so i'm, I'm just going to leave them off bugger it i'm not going to uh i'm not going to um get too upset about that but yeah, for future reference, uh, mud flaps should be the very, very last thing. Uh, wheels, second last, mud flaps, sorry. Wheels, second last thing you put on your model, and the mud flaps should be the absolute last thing you put on the model because they're almost the most fragile you can get. So, anyway, worlds, uh, there she is. I went yellow with the brown striping. Um, I obviously got my decals in the wrong spot on the bonnet which I, you know, the AMT didn't show me. I didn't really fully understand what I should have done. That decal there should have been slid all the way back to there and had a space in here to match up with the door decal and one on the back. Same as that short decal here on, on the front bonnet, that should have been slid, and back, slid all the way back to the cab to uh, line up uh, with the uh, decal on the door. But anyway, you live and learn and like i said amt destructions they didn't tell me anywhere to put the stickers and also looking at the model box uh there was no actual stickers on this model on the, on the actual on the actual cover of the model there was no stickers there to even go by so i had absolutely no idea where i was supposed to put my stickers um so there you go that's it um and just looking at the model there They've got, uh, they've got red lenses on the uh, front front of the guards. I went for the orange lenses and even in the, uh, and even on the uh, destruction sheet, it said to use the amber lenses. Now I'm thinking, I wish I had to put the red lenses on there, but 
just little things, you know, here and there. Um, I hope I can bring some of this knowledge onto building the Kenworth, which is the next model I'm about to do. So the Kenworth is the uh, the next model up, and yes, it's another AMT model. And hopefully, I've learned some lessons on that truck on the Mac. I can uh, bring over into this model. So destruction sheet. This one actually has axles and tubing. This one got a lot more chrome. More chrome. Uh, the parts aren't as numerous as they were on the Mac. Uh, I do have frame rails to put together. I'm actually getting used to building them now. Uh, more pieces and cab pieces in there. And a very big uh, decal sticker sheet. Now, um, I'm not painting this model. I'm actually not painting this model. I'm going to leave the cab white and the bonnet white and uh, I'm going to have a go at trying to get the decals on and if I screw up the decals and I'm going to scratch them all off and I'm going to paint the truck and we'll have no decals. So I'm going to leave the cab white and uh, cab sleeper and bonnet's going to be left white and hopefully I can get the decals on and they all work the way they're supposed to. Uh, someone asked me are these are uh, uh, vintage models. Uh, I'll have a look. Oop. I'm pretty sure the Mac is a vintage model that was uh, re-released. And I'll see if I can buy and find a build date. Okay, so someone asked me the other day, are these vintage models or what? Um, no, these are, these are reproduction vintage models. I've just checked the date on this box. And I know this is, uh, this is a model from the 70s, uh, early 70s. This is definitely a 70s model, but this one has been reproduced in 2017. That's what it says on the back of the box. Uh, the Mac. Um, I'm not sure when that was first released, but the same thing, the back of the box says 2017. So they might be old models, but they've been retooled and remanufactured fairly recently. So this one is an old model. And the uh, I know this red Kenworth here, that's that late 60s or early 70s Kenworth that was like probably 70s, excuse me. I'm pretty sure that Kenworth there is a mid 70s uh, release model that's probably been retooled as well to uh, modern. So there are models that were released back in the 70s, discontinued, and then they've re-released them. I'm pretty sure this was a 70s model that was put out in the 70s, maybe in the 80s, discontinued, and it's now been um, uh, retooled and manufactured. So this one was put out in 2017, and same with the Mac, 2017. So AMT, the instructions haven't changed, they're still shit. Anyway, world, uh, like I said, the yellow max done. Apart from uh, losing the exhaust stack and uh, the frustrating times I had with a couple of the parts, especially with the instructions and especially some of the mounting brackets, really had a good time putting this model together, really had a good time painting this model. I, I loved hand painting all the small parts and pieces. Choosing the colours is the hardest part. Um, after so many models, you tend to end up running the same sort of colours because you, there's only so many colours in the world and things start repeating themselves but you can't do anything about that just the way it is so anyway worlds the Mac is done the Kenworth is next I'm, it's uh, what it's Wednesday now um, I'm, I'm not I won't be starting this model this week I've got other things planned and I think next week's going to be a fairly quiet week so I will uh, I might get into it then so uh, and and I'm always uh, looking for the next models to build. Um, I'm not sure what they are. What I really need, I've got one, two, three prime movers with no trailers. Um, I'm, I don't want to do another tip trailer. Um, I missed out on a cattle truck trailer and also missed out on a car haul trailer and also missed out on a tanker fairly recently. Um, other than that, sometimes the uh, prices I've seen are extreme. Uh, Mike Mitchell from America, he found the rubber duck truck for me. It was around the 400 plus nearly $500 mark, plus decals were missing. The box was looked in shit condition um, and postage from America here. That model, even to get it here in Australia, if he was even willing to post, would have cost me five or $600. With decal sheets not missing, the box looked like it had gone through the washing machine. Um, not touching it, but um, Mike Mitchell over in America, thank you very much for at least finding one. Let's keep looking out for the uh, rubber duck truck model. Um, and after, anyway... And uh, see, see what we come on. So yeah, that one was just completely beaten up. Um, I think I've got a screenshot of it here. Uh, the box was in a complete disgrace mess. 
and 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 of course there was no decals and models are nothing without the decals if you haven't got decals with your models they're pretty much not worth building so anyway well uh we're going to call it quits uh thanks for coming along for the ride on this one i hope you enjoyed the build um getting ready for the kenworth next and always looking out for my next model hopefully one of um three trails that i'm looking for so stay safe keep your knees in the breeze and i will catch you later bye